Stories of drivers stranded on the Pennsylvania Turnpike are still piling up. We found one family from the Philadelphia area who attempted to come to Pittsburgh to visit their daughters in college. 24 hours of misery and uncertainty. Brenda Fu's parents were among the many people stranded on the turnpike, and then she got the call Friday night. That was like really difficult for me to hear because it just worried me that um, they weren't safe essentially. They were just stuck in a car in the middle of a snowstorm. Fu is a student at the University of Pittsburgh. Her father, I'm Michael Fu, barrier. tells Pittsburgh's Action News 4 traffic stopped Friday night, four miles away from the Allegheny Tunnel. They spent the next 24 hours trying to stay warm while conserving gas. Turn our uh, car on and off because we want to save, you know, gas. But in some cases, it's just very really cold, so we need to turn it on. So we kind of turn it on and back, back and on and off, back and forth. Michael says he and his wife shared fond memories of their family as they grew weary of the wait. Where their small food supply ran low and heat was scarce, they petitioned family and friends for prayer. And we call some friends and they also call us and then we kind of pray together and, and we have our wholesale group to pray for us uh, as, we, as we went through those difficult times. Michael says the National Guard instructed all drivers to evacuate their vehicles around 8.30 Saturday night. They climbed over the Jersey barrier to get on a bus waiting to take them eastbound to a local high school. Their cars were waiting for them in a nearby lot Sunday morning. A little later, Brenda finally saw her parents after their frigid ordeal on the turnpike. That's pretty insane to me because I don't know what I would do if I was stuck in a car for that long. Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.